In this lesson, we discuss self-illumination section of V-Ray material. We are working with the same scene from the previous lesson. I've just changed the light multiplier to about 20. So let's open up our material browser and create a new V-Ray material. You can simply right click in the active view and add any material or map that you want. Now let's apply the material to the dragon and let's run the active shade. By default, self-illumination is set to black, so the surface won't emit any light. But if I change the black color to anything other than black, we start to get self-illumination and the surface start to emit light. We still have our diffuse color set to gray and that affects the shading of our object. But if I change the diffuse color to black, now we have a pure light source. Obviously, we can use a map to control self-illumination if I wanted to. We have this GI checkbox, which is enabled by default, and it allows self-illumination to affect GI rays. Basically, it allows the surface to work like a true light source and cast light upon other surfaces. And as you can see, if I disable it, it won't cast any light at all. We just see the light source. Now uh, we have this multiplier which controls the strength of the light. Let me just adjust it here. And finally we can set it to something like 5 maybe. It's recommended when wanting to have a light emitting object in your scene to use the mesh light which we discussed in the lighting section. Uh, because it's faster and produces more noise-free results. But having the self-illumination option here lets you combine it with the other parts of the Vuri material. In this case, let's use a reddish color like 232, 0, and 12 as our diffuse color. And let's maybe add some reflection and we can make the reflections a bit blurry. Set the self-illumination multiplier to something like 4 maybe. Now let me use BW26 as our illumination map. And maybe set its styling to 2 and 2. The Mac is black and white, so where the map is white, we get self-illumination and uh, where it's black, there would be no self-illumination. Self and we'll see the underlying material. Now, what I want to do is to, instead of a white color, to have a red color as my self-illumination color. So let's add a mix map, set the first color as black and the second color maybe to something like 255. 14 and 14, so a strong red color. Let's use our texture as the mix amount here. So where the texture is black, the black color will be used and where it's white, the orange color, or the red color will be used. Now, if you connect the mix map to the self illumination port, the result would be something like this. Now, to fix the UV mapping, let me add a V-Ray Triplanner texture, which lets you project one or more texture along the object space axis. And it's amazing if your object doesn't have a proper UV mapping and you don't have time to do UV mapping. This is amazing. Now let's uh, connect our mix map to the first texture slot of the Triplanner texture. And as you can see, uh, it uh, immediately fixes the map on the object. So that's what we have. We'll be discussing triplanar texture in detail later on, one of the most amazing features in V-Ray. So that's about self-illumination section of the V-Ray material, and I will see you in the next lesson.